It's now time to take y'all on an exclusive tour of our current home away from home, Devil's Backbone Tavern. With a little help from the establishment's proprietors, John, AKA Lunch Meat, and Robin Ludwig, and Abby Rowe. There's four things that have to, ha have to go together here every single day. Cold beer, shuffleboard, music, and crock pots. <laughs> Forgot about jukebox. Oh, and the jukebox. Okay, five things have to happen. She said life's too short to worry. She said life's too long to wait. And it's too short not to love everybody. Life's too long to hate. Yeah, I meet a lot of men that haggle. They haggle all the time, trying to save a nickel to make a dime. She said not me, boy, no sorry. No, I ain't got the time. Well, I first stepped into the Devil's Backbone Tavern when I was 17. I remember just loving this place because it's like exactly what I grew up, you know, around. Once we moved to Wimberley um, in about 2003, this was our place to get away. We've been uh, sort of regulars for about 15 years and the uh, family uh, was possibly going to sell after about 70, one years and I contacted the owner and let him know that I really loved this bar and his grandmother who uh, actually built the walls made it a dance hall and I told him that I wanted to carry on what she had you know created for this place back then in the 40s preserving the tavern and also reopening the dance hall. The bar itself I would I mean the dollar bills on the ceiling, the jukebox, the fireplace, the shuffleboard. It's 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 iconic in this whole area. I mean, people know about this place just because of that bar. And then we open up the dance hall and those people come in and are like, oh my God, I can't believe that this is even here. We used to think what a great thing it would be if someone would come in here and make this a dance hall again. <laughs> yeah. So you come to love that shuffleboard table if you spend any amount of time here. All the pictures on the wall in the bar, by the way, um, folks that were locals here for years and years and they passed on, you know, and there may be ashes or not in the floorboards of some of these people or whatever, but they were all shuffleboard like maniacs. To walk in here, it's a very nostalgic feeling for all of us and people that have never even been here before. You just, you walk right into whatever decade that was for you, you know, that was so important. Um, 60s, 70s, 40s, 50s, 30s. I mean, you walk in here and you feel all of those, you know, nostalgic feelings of Texas and, and dance halls like this. Yeah, I mean, it's the best thing I've ever done. I mean, this is my retirement. This is where I'm gonna, when I'm 80, come see me at the bar. 